Hi Pisces, this is Cindy from the New Moon Tarot and this is your general love reading for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Pisces for this week. If this one doesn't resonate so much, go ahead and check out your natal chart and my other readings, specifically your Moon, which is emotions, and Venus, which is how you show up in relationships. You might want to do that anyway since there could be messages there for you. We are looking at the overall energy. I'm also going to pull cards for your person and clarify everything in real time. Yes, that means shuffling. Please like and subscribe while I have you here. I post weekly. If you want uh, the extended reading, click the join button down below. It's $10. You get access to all of the extendeds for every single sign for an entire month. So, well, we have the Knight of Swords here. This is Aquarius, Gemini, Libra energy, particularly Gemini. You could be dealing with an air sign or one of you has air in their chart. Knight of Swords can be someone who kind of runs in and out of a situation. Um, it's very impulsive energy. I'm going off half cocked. I don't have all the information. We've got the Fool in Reverse, Major for Aries. So the Fool in Reverse is someone acting foolish. Um, the Fool is often about like taking a risk and going on an adventure. In the reverse, it's someone who's got a jelly belly. This is someone who's afraid. We have the Nine of Wands here, the Wounded Warrior. I'm not giving up. I'm not giving in. I'm willing to fight. There could be someone here who's afraid, um, who maybe kind of runs away and doesn't deal with something head on. I don't know that you've completely given up on this connection with that Nine of Wands here. And we've got the temperance in reverse, major for Sagittarius. Temperance is being patient. Um, it's finding balance between the two of you. In the reverse, I'm impatient. This doesn't seem to be evil or equal or even. Um, let's go ahead and pull cards for your person. All right, so far we have the four of swords. That is taking a minute here, kind of gathering up thoughts. It can mean having a break from somebody. Swords are often about thought energy, so this could be someone trying to figure something out. This is the Modern Witch Tarot. I'm going to use the Tarot of Mystical Moments to clarify. What's going on with this person? Okay. Well, we have the lovers showing up here and we have the high priestess. That's better. The lovers is Gemini energy. So you do have a lot of Gemini here. It's also figuring that someone is a soulmate, uh, having a very intense connection to someone. It's a soul tie, a soul contract. And the high priestess, that's your major arcana. So you're showing up in this person's energy in a major way. Um, the high priestess can also mean someone who's very secretive or very quiet. Strength card in reverse. I think this person is scared spitless of their feelings for you. I think um, the strength card is like, I'm going to be bold, I'll brave, courageous. In the reverse, I'm tired, I'm scared. Um, maybe they didn't intend to have feelings for you. The Lovers is pretty deep. All right, what's going on with this person? All right, we have the Three of Pentacles. Uh, this could be a workplace romance. Three of Pentacles is conversation, collaboration, cooperation. It's both a friendship and a dating card. Hmm. Maybe they would like to talk about this, but it's like they can't. Two of swords in reverse. I'm indecisive. This is also like I'm overwhelmed and I can't make a decision here. This person's got a lot of feelings for you, and I think it's freaking them the hell out. Uh, they don't know what to do with it. I'm not sure. Like Maybe it's because you work together. Maybe because they don't think it would work out. I don't know, but let's arrange these and we'll clarify it. Okay, so tell me about this person. At the end, we're gonna do a card for how they feel about you as well as something that they're thinking here. 
Yep, we got the Fort Knox here. Four of Pentacles. I'm not going to be vulnerable. I'm not going to open up here. I don't know that I can handle this. We have the Four of Cups. I'm out of alignment. I don't know what I want. I think their feelings are so deep here that it's just, it's overwhelming. And they don't know what to do about it. Eight of Pentacles in reverse here. Page of Cups. Eight of Pentacles in reverse is like, I'm not going to work on it. I'm not going to try to go there. Uh, Eight of Pentacles. This could be, an, like, it's, you know this person through work or they know you through work. You could work together. Page of Cups is Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. It's someone who likes you, who has a crush on you. It's also like a smaller love offer. Like, I think you're cute. I think this person tries to keep this relationship at that level. Because they can't deal with the lovers up there. All right. Got the tower in reverse. We have the king of wands. Tower in reverse is major for Scorpio. This is someone who's avoiding... The, the tower is destruction for the sake of creation. It changes your life. It'll put you on a new path. And it's like this person is avoiding it. It's just too much. It's overwhelming. I can't go there. King of Wands, Leo, Sag, Aries energy. This person could be a fire sign. Uh, one or both of you could have fire in your chart here. Basically, they're struggling. Like, struggling pretty hard. Let's do feelings as well as something this person's thinking. Okay. So how does this person feel about you? What are the feelings here? <laughs> yeah, um, they feel like you could be a soulmate. They have an intense connection to you. They feel this pull between the two of you. And again, it scares the hell out of them. They're scared spitless. Any other way you want to say that. They're kind of on the run. What? Okay, I'm becoming a better person here. I don't react when people mention you. I'm like, well, yeah, we're going to ignore it. Maybe they feel like they're not good enough. You can't come where I'm going. I do think it's like they run into your life and then they run out of your life. I want to tell you how I feel. If I can get the courage up to do it. Um... Yeah, they're struggling. Um, does this person have feelings for you? Big time. Are they going to be able to handle it? Well, that's a question. All right. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Please like and subscribe. If you want the extended, click the join button. We're going to do feelings, intentions, the advice, and then the unknown.